Hey YouTube, it's Ergo, and today I want to talk to you guys about an important news story, at least important for me, and that is the sale of the website dig.com, that's D-I-G-G.com. If you aren't familiar with it, Dig was sort of one of the pioneers of the Web 2.0 movement, it started in 2004, and it was the first site you could really go to to submit a news article and you go and you can also look at all the other ones that are on there currently in the upcoming queue, vote up the ones that you like the most, and then the front page of the site showed the most uh, voted up news stories. So you could sort of see the most important community aggregated news stories for you know that the current period of time. And it, this was a revolutionary thing at the time. And back then also it was primarily for technology news so it was perfect for me the site itself um, I, I again used it for many years in November 11th 2007 I, I decided to see what it would take to get a story on the front page so I, I sort of researched some stuff and uh, played around with uh, some things in the algorithm there and I got two stories on the front page that day and this is when the site was sort of in its heyday so it was a big deal and I just kept up my uh, ways of doing that and eventually I became the most successful submitter onto the site there. But uh, what, what happened was about two years ago, in August of 2010 I guess, they launched a Dig version 4, you know, the sort of fourth iteration. And they really killed the, the whole community aspect on the site. You know, Web 2.0 was all about being social. And they really killed a lot of that where stories, instead of being submitted by people, can be auto-submitted by big news outlets. And it just really uh, hurt a whole, the site in general, killing the community aspect as well as all sorts of technical problems. Uh, so really, that was really the, the decline of it. But over the different years, uh, Dig raised over $45 million in venture capital and you know, investments and whatnot. At one point, they were valued at $164 million. And they were even in talks for a little while with Google, I think, to sell the site for $200 million. So today, you know, again, <laughs> they, they sold it to a company called Betaworks for, you, can you guess how much it was? If you already know, it doesn't count, but leave a comment if you can guess what they sold it for. All right, so you've commented, all right, $500,000, that's it. You know, for the price of basically a house or you know a really nice house, <laughs> depending on what area you're in, it could be a cheap house out in San Francisco where Dig is run from, but yeah, $500,000. I don't know, it, it, it's, again, the site had been going downhill, but it's sad to see. And the other reason that it's sort of been uh, especially important to me, you guys know I run socialblade.com, right? Go to check your YouTube stats on there. But originally the site was created to track dig stats. That, that's really what it was for its first couple of years of life. So yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, and it's it's an interesting day, you know. I, again, I, I knew Dig was dying. I haven't personally used it in about two years, but it's still sad when you, when you see something like this happen. It, it to sort of put parallels on it, uh, Dig is uh, like Friendster. If you guys know what Friendster is, Friendster was the the first uh, social site like um, uh, Facebook or MySpace. Friendster was who did that first, and they're gone also. In MySpace, the second one, and they're, they're gone also. But yeah, anyway, if you guys are interested, if you like tech news like I do, the site that I personally use now is uh, hosted at Y Combinator, which is um, sort of another venture capital firm that you know invests in all sorts of other tech companies, and they have a news site called Hacker News. So that's personally where I get my news now. But yeah, I don't know. It, it's just, it's, I, I felt I had to make a video of this just because uh, Dig really was an important part of my life for a couple of years. I, I was heavily invested into that site. And really at the fall of it, that's when I started to get heavily invested into YouTube. So I don't think YouTube's going anywhere anytime soon, but um, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and commenting. And um, I just wanted to point out, see Couch Pig over here in the Mario book. We'll get those from the Mario Marathon. Gonna be shipping this over to Carolyn, but um, I just had to get it in a video. I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.